I'm Mr. Lawrence. Oh, the chief migration. How do you do, Mr. Lawrence? Do do? This is my wife, Mrs. Spencer. Good morning. Mrs. Spencer? Oh, we're just admiring your boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> That's a broken chair arm. <laughs> you have a cart, Missy. Please sit down. Now, regarding your emigration app. <laughs> you like to sit over here, Mr. Spencer? Just here. Now, regarding your emigration application. Yes, well. <laughs> I don't know when it will be convenient for us to leave. We certainly can't go this week. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Spencer, that's quite out of the question. In fact, it might be out of the question for several weeks, because I'm hoping to take flying lessons. What? Yes, also, we haven't found a buyer for the cat yet. Cat? <laughs> and Mr. Spencer, apart from your grandfather, what else made you decide that you'd like to uh, settle in Australia? Well... It's near the sea. <laughs> but it's, it's got the sea all round it, which is very nice for the swimming. <laughs> and also, I'm very fond of the... No, no. <laughs> Noble. <laughs> you used to do quite a lot of that, didn't you, Frank? Yes, I did. But unfortunately, I had to desist uh, because of my trouble. <laughs> all the friction, you see. Friction? Oh, you mean at club meetings? No, no, when I run. <laughs> I tried wearing shorter pads, but I still got it up here, right there, when I ran between the wickets. <laughs> Don't touch it, Betty. <laughs> yes, well, we're not too bothered about your spare time activities, Mr. Spencer. After studying application form, I'm more concerned about what you'll be doing for the rest of the week. Now, I gather your grandfather has quite a big spread. Well, all the Spencers are rather well built. <laughs> Apart from myself, and I've got more the lean and hungry look. <laughs> My mother always thought that I looked like Mahatma Gandhi when I was a boy. <laughs> How well do you know him? Well, I didn't know him at all, but I saw all his films. <laughs> your grandfather. How well do you know your grandfather? Have you had a long relationship? I've always been his grandson. <laughs> I mean, do you see him often? Uh, no, I mean, we thought he passed on. Because that's why we didn't send him a Christmas card last year. No, and he hadn't written for ages. No, but he was never much of a letter writer. I mean, if he had died, he'd never have told us. <laughs> Mr Spencer, we can just talk about your application form. Yes, then there was his brother Nigel, famous for his bird calls. But he was sadly accidentally shot dead by a duck hunter in Norfolk. Would you like to tell me about it another time, Mr. Spencer? I really have a lot to do. I must get on. Oh, certainly. Well, thank you very much for the time you've spent with us already. I haven't finished yet. Please, sit down. Please, please, please. Mrs. Right. Spencer, you're quite, uh, quite happy about going to Australia? Well, Frank thinks it's the best thing for us. But I am a little worried about leaving my mother. Oh, get in on a bit, is she? Well, you know, about your age. <laughs> but I am willing to go if Frank does, and his grandfather says it's all settled. Ah, well, it's far from that, Mrs. Spencer, far from that. There are things on this form, questions which I want an answer to. Please don't follow me about the room, Mr. Spencer. I don't like being followed. I had a cousin like that. <laughs> Never mind your cousin. Please, sit down. Where I can see you. Where are your qualifications, eh? You were asked to bring uh, documents, diplomas, certificates, testimonials. Oh, well, I didn't know you meant all of them. How many have you brought? Well, just the one. How many have you got? Just the one. <laughs> Mr Spencer. I don't think there's a great deal of demand for 25-yard breaststroke because I'm a sheep fan. Well, I have swum much further, but I was wind-assisted. <laughs> and I had the armbands on. We don't want lifeguards. Lifeguards we do not want. Couldn't you just squeeze one in? No! Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Spentos. Mm. It's obvious to me that you don't entirely share your husband's feelings in this matter. Perhaps it would be better if I could see each of you alone. Eh? 
Do you want to do Frank first? Yes, I'd like to do your husband first. <laughs> Mind us sitting in here, Mrs. Spencer. Judy, some tea for Mrs. Spencer, please. One certificate. One. A list of jobs as long as a kangaroo's leap and not a single reference. You're following me again? You know I don't like being followed. No, I'm not following you. I was going in completely the other direction. <laughs> But I was standing in the same way as you. <laughs> oh, I was just looking at your aberration there. <laughs> at the waterhole. <laughs> this is a rude aberration. <laughs> I'd like to draw your attention to question 12. You're following me now. <laughs> he was. According to this, you spent three months in a monastery and graduated as a gas fitter. I did the guest fitting before I went in. I was just living in the monastery. That was your home? I didn't have a home. That was why I was doing the part-time monking. <laughs> Question 13. Unlucky for some. <laughs> I used to be a bingo caller, too. Details of education. We don't seem to have too much here, do we? No, well, I didn't have a lot of education because I had to look after my mother. Yeah, she was good your mother. me. A simple question. Do you think you could try just this once to give me a small, simple, brief, truthful answer? Yes. Right. Now, as my mother always said, tell the truth and the devil will fail. Tell a lie and it'll be on your tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not that funny. <laughs> Mr. Spencer. What job are you actually doing at the moment? Well, I got a bit confused because you were shouting at me. Oh, God. I'll ask you again. And this time, I'm not shouting. No, but you was a minute ago when I mentioned my jelly wobbling. Yeah. What job are you actually doing at this moment in time today, Tuesday the 27th? Well... I'm not doing anything today because I had to come here. <laughs> Mr. Spencer, let me put it another way. What job are you actually doing tomorrow? Tomorrow? Tomorrow they said they could manage without me. Mr. Spencer, how long do you think they're going to be able to manage without you? Well, I don't have to work Thursday and then I don't work Friday and Saturday's the day off. And Sunday's my day of rest. Rest from what? You're not doing anything this week. Not this week, no. Yeah, then what, what, what about next week? What about next, next week? Next week? Next week. <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? You're unemployed, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> I was just getting round to it. <laughs> I'm not coming into work tomorrow, today, I'm not coming in on Friday, and then there's Saturday, and then, and then, and then, and then, we have Sunday. <laughs> You're going to give yourself a day. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence, are you all right? <laughs> well, shall I get the lady? Would you like a glass of water? Have you... Oh, why not have a little beverage? Hey? Have you got a glass? You cheer yourself up. <laughs> Mr. 
rest assured there'll always be a welcome for you in Woolamaloo. <laughs> and as my mother always said, I will not linger at your door. Away I have to race. But I can tell you wish me well by the look that's on your face. <laughs>